My name is Leif Pierre, and I'm the head of innovation here at the Playtime Co. Toy Factory. If you're seeing this, then you're trespassing. Yeah, we play this little tape on loop whenever we close the factory for the day. So, trespasser, just to make you aware, while we pride ourselves primarily on our high-quality toys and excellent child care, the facility is full of hidden motion.
You opened my case. you to trust me.
know when your birthday is. Do what me. <laughs> Welcome to Musical Memory. This advanced memory and cognitive recognition test is designed to stimulate several segments of the brain, allowing us to see how quickly and efficiently your brain works. A sequence of colors will be shown, and you must recreate the exact sequence using the buttons around you. Bunzo will slowly lower towards you. When you complete a color pattern correctly, Bunzo will rise back up. When you input a pattern incorrectly, Bunzo will lower towards you faster. If Bunzo reaches you, your test is over. The test will become more difficult as it continues, with longer patterns in quicker succession. That's all. Good luck.
mission to be this smart. <laughs> Mommy is super proud of you, but I'm sure she's already told you that herself. Our next game is Wacko Wuggy. Head downstairs and have fun. Welcome to Wacka Wuggy. This advanced test is designed to assess the extent of your reactionary abilities. A dual palm grab pack will be provided to you for this test. Around you are 18 sizable holes. An adorable Huggy Wuggy toy could appear out of any one of these holes. If one comes out, hit it with your grab pack. That's all. Good luck. In this game used to have strings attached to them so they could be pulled back when they got too close to the children. Hmm. Have fun. to feed me candy. 
hours realized that he might be running wallet in the cafeteria. So I'm running through the lobby. And that's when I see. Up, up. Welcome to Statues. This advanced obstacle course is designed to test your physical endurance and strength. The rules are simple. The lights will turn off. You can move through the obstacle course at this time. However, when the lights turn on, you can look around but cannot move. You may move again once the lights turn back off. The lovable PJ Pugapillar will follow you. If PJ reaches you, your test is over. That's all. Good luck. It was always so sad to see the kids go. They called me mommy because I was the closest thing they ever had to one. But they come for games and never come back. They left mommy to die alone. Mommy didn't deserve that. But you, you worked here. So if anyone deserves to die alone, Ah! Uh -huh. 
cheated! Great cheaters! Now, we're going to play one last game! It's called Hide and Seek! Ten, nine, seven, six, five, four, five, four, three, two,
you kill her? Good. I'll board the train. We need to leave.
Miss Harper, please explain the situation. Spare no detail. Well, like any night, all the children were getting asleep. It was peaceful, quiet. Catnap had the red smoke in the room. Then suddenly, there was this scream. Not near as happened, I know, but this, I mean, dilated pupils and quivering lips. The way her eyes darted around the room, and I swear, her hand in mine, it felt like her blood was boiling beneath her skin. She saw something, too. Something horrible. She... Uh, I, I'm sorry. I don't mean to. Miss Harper, we'll provide the very best care we can offer. You have my word. But this is important. Did Marie happen to describe what she saw? Yes. A monster, she said, said that it was colorless. Gosh. I could feel the poor little heart pounding. For her, it was right there. And her movements, they were so wild. Arms flailing, legs kicking. Hmm. I, I wanted to talk to her. See how she's doing. I, I just, I really need to hear her voice right now. That would not be advised, Miss Harper. There are many concerns we must address at this time. But vitals show normal, and we'll continue to monitor. She'll be okay. No! Well, pardon me if I'm not comforted by that. <laughs> Just bring my little girl back to me. <laughs> I'm Bubba Bubbafint. An elephant always remembers. Want to know what I remember about you? <laughs> I'm Bubba Bubbafint. Hey, I remember you. Chicken! Wanna go outside and hang out? It's looking pretty bad outside! I've never been outside before. Will you come with me? I'm scared. Here, follow me. I'll stop! Hey! I'm... It's looking... i Will you... Here, follow... Ah!
Hello. My name is Elliot Ludwig. When you look around at the world today, what one thing do you think it needs more of? I asked around once. Money, I never have enough. Understanding, I can never get any. Faith, the common man has lost it. Each answer was different. And I could perhaps see some little truth in each. But I think each was also missing something. Something simple. You see, not one of them could muster a smile. A smile is hope. A smile is love. A smile is understanding. And there is nothing more gratifying to my soul than being the reason for a child's smile. To be the spark that ignites all their hopes and dreams. For it is only through hopes and dreams that we may create a better world. One where our children need not be afraid. One where they are protected. After all, this company and its toys are nothing without them. These children deserve to smile, they deserve to love, and they deserve a safe home. That is why it is with enormous pleasure that as the founder of Playtime Co., I announce... Playcare! Our very own on-site orphanage. But it's not only that. It's a school. A playhouse, a place to belong. Our very own ecosystem beneath the surface, dedicated in every inch and detail to ensuring a child's smile. It's teachers and counselors, mothers and fathers, until such a time they have all of that in you. May play care bring joy, inspiration, and smiles to all who enter these doors. For what gives life its meaning, if not a smile? It's me again, Ali. Cool place, right? The kids used to live here. Now look at it. Anyways, do you see that statue in the middle of the room? Take the stairs that go under it. There's a really cool room in there that powers literally all of play care. I can give you a key down there. Hey, I'm Chicken Chicken. Wanna go outside and hang out? Hi, I'm Bobby Bear Hug. Wanna know how much I love you? Bitch. I'm Hoppy Hopscotch. Wanna try hopping to the moon with me?
Tragic news this morning, as of 9.45 a.m., local authorities report that the body of a young boy has been found on the estate of the late Elliot Ludwig, an esteemed toy maker and originator of the Playtime Company. At this time, the awaits official confirmation. Found in an upstairs bedroom in a large duffel bag, officers on scene report that the remains appear to have been disturbed. events, Playtime Co. was asked for any comment regarding the discovery. This is what they had to say. Quote, It's sickening. Elliot Ludwig was a great man, and those who knew him understood that he was not capable of violence. Let him know. Despite Playtime's proclamation of Ludwig's innocence, Greetings, employees, and welcome to your first day here in Playtime. We're certain that in the days to come, you'll find your new family here every bit as loving and supportive as your own. Feel free to wander the halls, sit in the mess for lunch, or watch our children play and learn to their little hearts' content. Join the innovationists where the bounds of science are continuously pushed, or join the counselors of Playcare whose diligence and care for our children will help shape a brighter future. Just you see. Now, every one of you has your part in that future, so should you come back tomorrow feeling unhappy for where you are, or what you've done, worry not, for your supervisor is here and happy to listen. And, should you come back years later, your conscience finally getting the better of you, May you descend into the dark and the dust, finding all that awaits you are incomprehensible horrors, each hungry for your return, each eager that they might find you. Perhaps they'd smile at you from a shadow, their smiling mouths full of teeth and meat 
and plastic, watching and waiting patiently for their turn at a warm welcome. Or perhaps they won't allow you such time to figure your place in the world you'd left, a world that's theirs now. Welcome home. Subject is stable. Designated 1322. Clear neural abnormalities were detected in his recent checkup. Though highly irregular, we've pulled him from the home sweet home just before lights out to perform. What are you doing with my friend? I. What are you doing out of bed? How did you get in here? Is Kevin sick? Why did you take him away? I. I. Yes. Kevin is very sick. Very, very sick. We want to make him better, but he can only get better if we take him to where we can provide proper care and give him proper rest. Well, do, do you really think he will be okay? I should think so. Look at what we do, son. We paid attention in school, learned, and got our proper rest when we needed it. Just like you need it now, I should think. Come now. Let's get you on back to bed. Okay. It's been a pleasure meeting you, Joseph. And I promise you, your friend will be all right. When you see him again, he'll have never been better.
down the hatch. Feared elephant, yum. Played unicorn, mmm. Still hungry. Hey, what do you say you and I be friends? Hi there, I'm Piggy Piggy. Let's eat.
actually here to help. <sighs> this place makes her tense. I'm glad that Ollie could help you get this far. He's the reason we found you at all. Looks like the train crash hurt us both. You've been through so much. You deserve an explanation. Come on. Hey, you'll be okay. We'll be okay. you leave. What's happening down here is bigger than all of us. And I need you. So we can get revenge on those monsters who've tortured you. Who've tortured us. They didn't act alone. They're disciples of the original. The prototype. Do the honors. Prototype knows we're coming by now. If you try to escape, he'll kill you before you ever reach that front door. He's the reason I was trapped in that god-awful case for so long. You have no idea of the things he's done. Let me help you kill him. Let me help you save everyone. We've all seen you. How capable you are. You killed Huggy. You killed Mommy. You freed me. You are perfect for this. Catnap is coming. He's the final obstacle the prototype has placed against us. We can't stay here. Keep yourself safe. Ollie will call you. Power. 
light speaking. Please excuse the interruption. Students, remain in your seats until the bell has rung. And no going in the halls without a hall pass. you? Yes, I remember. You used to work here. How are you? Alive. Hmm? Barb? Oh. Barb says you're looking for your co-workers. Catnap wouldn't like that you're here. You should leave. For your own safety. Not a good listener, are you? You're a lot like the other humans in that way. I wonder if your screams will sound like theirs too. <laughs> I look forward to finding out. Hello, students. Find my sisters and I to learn facts across a variety of subjects. Press my button to hear some facts on anatomy. Did you know that there are 60,000 miles of blood vessels in the human body? For comparison, the Earth around the equator is almost 25,000 miles. The smallest bone in your body is the states in your ear. Still, damage it and you risk losing your hearing. Want to learn more about human organs? Pay close attention in class. Hello, students. Find my sisters and I to learn facts across a variety of subjects.
Wanna try hopping to the moon with me? On three with me. One, two, three! Again. One, two, three! Listen, this won't stop until we make it to the moon. One, two... No, no! Don't look at your feet! None of that matters! Again! Again! Jump! Jump! Let's just get this shipment dropped and go. Hello, my name is Elliot Ludwig. Would you look around? I take it you're not a fan of this place, are you? Nope. Never liked the feel of it. I mean, don't you think these kids deserve some real sunlight instead of floodlights and painted skies? Hell, we're not even allowed to talk to these kids. Isn't that... <clears throat> <sighs> Sorry, Stu. Sorry? <laughs> that doesn't sound like the rich I know. Well, I'm trying to stop being so pissed off all the time. My wife says I'm a lovely man, but I gotta control my temper. So, I'm doing it for her. <laughs> uh, you're just different, rich. Honest to a fault. But, uh, I always liked that about you. Yeah? <laughs> well, you're one of the few. Uh, you know, Richie, with my retirement coming up, uh, they've been pushing hard for me to choose my replacement. I'm thinking about giving the role to you. But, uh, really? Really? Nothing official yet, but I think there's a decent guy beneath all that graph. An honest, hard-working man. You prove me right, I said your chances are pretty good. Wow, I, uh, geez, I don't know what to say. I, I'm just glad to see not everyone in this place has it out for me. Not everybody, Rich. Not everybody.
You're a Pappy's angel. Come to save us. Nothing left to save. Not here. Bird cat naps from the angel. There, home. A really pairs of eyes are on you now. Watching. Waiting. Hungry. They want nothing more than to crawl beneath your skin and eat away at you bit by little bit. What feels empty inside themselves. That thing. Cat 
prototype is his god, and this is what he does to heretics. These little toys follow Catnap to avoid that very fate, and in return, they are fed. <clears throat> we try to fight it. The prototypes control. I am the last of the smiling critters. Listen to me. You need to get out of this place. You need to live. You and Poppy could fix this. End this madness. The torment. Oh no. Oh no. Leave me. Please. Just go. Run. They says, fetch! Go, go! As far as you can! Why are you just standing there? You can't be here. You can't stay. Dog Day says, fetch!
Come on in. Please, have a seat. How was your ride down? It was, uh, nothing like we were expecting. Uh, Mr. Ludwig's speech was, well, it just confirms for us that you're the orphanage we want to go through. It's a truly magical place. I felt right at home from the second I entered. You open that door the first time and you just know you're never going to leave. Kind of like finding a home as a child and always thinking of it when you want to feel comforted. 
I understand you want to give Jeremy that home. Yes, and we would like to adopt. Ah, amazing. You'll be perfect for... Oh. What? Well, it appears there's been some complications. Complications? What kind of complications? I... I don't know. Um, the form says testing. <laughs> what does that mean? Tell us, what does that mean? Miss Graper, we deserve a better explanation than that. Don't you think? You're in charge of all this. How could you not know? And why are we only finding out about this now? I, I don't. I'm sorry.
happened here? this.
suction zone so we can get out of here. It's the door by the cable car you arrived on. Good luck.
good. You're here. And you've done it again. The impossible. Just like I knew you would. Catnap's gone. The red smoke is diverted. Everything is falling into place, thanks to you. But if we're to keep going, then... Then you deserve to have the truth. You came back because of your co-workers. You want to know what happened. And why. This. This is your answer. We called it. The Hour of Joy. all over. They dragged those corpses down below where they'd never be found. And they ate the bodies to stay alive. The prototype has to die for this. For everything. Soon as we reach the bottom, we'll send the lift back up. Just hold tight, okay? After you! <sighs> Alright. Once we hit the ground, we need to be cautious. There's something...
find some other way to get back up there. I'm not going to leave Kissy there. I need to know what happened to her. We've got to find another way to climb up there. There you are. I thought it didn't take that long. Come with me. This train takes us to the laboratory, where it all began. It's all his fault. The prototype. We've got to stop him. I just hope his ears are okay. On the way to the lab, we're going to be reunited with my old friend. I hope she's still there.
Look, hello, friend. Do you remember me? No, of course not. You're the only one who can help us with this damn place. Everyone follows the prototype. The prototype is their guy. Please, Angel, don't let me down. I'm trusting you. After I was rejected, the prototype tried to manipulate me. But I resisted. You are our salvation. Your last hope, Anjo. Goodbye, we'll talk soon. Uh, wait, Poppy, Mark's getting busy. I thought she's gone with you. She... she was captured. I don't know who she was captured by. Oh. My dear sisters, I present to you the most thing that the has ever offered to you. It's not just any it's a very right. It's an honor to present to you a tourist amusement park. Let them kill car to offer children a complete experience. During our experience at the amusement park, our dear friend will guide you to the attractions and keep you safe. See you soon and have a great day.
ready to start this operation. Well, let's start. Sophie and Willis leave. The casting process begins with the transfer of its organs. Don't you think it's terrible what we're doing? She will go. Add more anesthesia to him. Come on in. I bet you're super excited to start having fun, making fun for kids around the world. <laughs> whoa, whoa, where do you think you're going there, buddy? Look, I know it's exciting, but before we can get you up there on the factory floor, we've got to talk about safety, huh? That's right, because my pal Huggy says that fun is just one part of fundamentally understanding the need for awareness, cleanliness, timeliness, obedience, and regulating yourselves. So, come on, let's get started. Rule number one, always be sure to wash your hands before you enter the factory floor. Grubby hands mean grubby toys, and a playtime coat, we like our toys nice and clean. Huggy gets it. Now, rule number two. Everybody's excited to get home after a hard day's fun, but you must never leave your station for any reason before the bell rings. Not without permission from a supervisor. And there will be no overtime. <sighs> rule number three. Fun takes focus. No distractions. When on the factory floor, please try to remain as quiet as possible. Superfluous auditory impositions on the environment may result in disciplinary action. Rule 
one before. Secrets. I know you all want to go and tell all of your friends about the exciting goings on here at Playtime Co. But you know what's even more exciting? Why, the NDA rules laid out in Section 3, page 42 of your Playtime Co. employee handbook, of course, the breach of which may result in termination. Whoa there, Huggy. <laughs> Not that kind of termination. Rule number five. You must report anybody you see not following these rules to your supervisor. That includes this rule. Anyone observed to not be reporting rule breaking they are currently observing has been observed to be breaking a rule and should be reported immediately. Quickly, before somebody reports you. Rule number six. Smile, you're on camera. For your safety, we keep a watchful eye on everybody here at Playtime Co. Any attempt to interfere with Playtime Co. surveillance equipment will result in immediate termination. And speaking of Playtime Co. equipment, how about those grab packs, eh? Rule number seven. Our handy helpers may seem fun, but not everything in a toy factory is a toy. Always be sure to exercise caution when operating your grab pack around heavy machinery, or else you might end up... in a tangle. Ugh. Serious injury, death, or dismemberment may occur. If you're experiencing hallucinations or symptoms of schizophrenia, you must report to your on-duty playtime physician right away. Reports of noxious and or hazardous materials used in the production of our toys are both entirely fabricated and highly exaggerated. So if you're feeling under the weather, try drinking some water or breathing less deeply. Employers are liable for the safety of themselves and those around them. Playtime Co. will not be held accountable for accident, injuries, trauma, physical or mental or resulting life-altering impairments up to and including death. Rule number nine. Employees are explicitly prohibited from entering restricted areas. Authorization is given on a case-by-case -case basis, and employees enter at their own risk. No ifs, ands, or buts. Rule number 10. Don't forget to have fun! Working together to bring joy to children around the world here at Playtime Co. is a privilege. We just know that if you follow these 10 simple rules, you'll be a great addition to the Playtime family. We all start here, on the factory floor. We can't wait to see what you become. Good luck on your first day. It's goodbye from me. And it's goodbye from Huggy. Goodbye.
We've got eyes on 1170. He's uh, heading south along the utility vehicle route. What exactly do we do here? 